Based on the current public health metrics today, I'm signing, I did sign, an executive order that will allow lower risk communities to advance to step two of the third phase of the Commonwealth's reopening. Lower risk communities are the gray, green, and yellow towns on the weekly COVID-19 risk map, provided that they've been lower risk for three consecutive reporting periods. Step two opens up a limited set of industries, certain types of indoor recreation that have not previously been permitted to operate since we announced the original emergency order back in March. We've learned a lot through our own tracing efforts and by watching other states who were hard hit by COVID early on as well. And we've seen that the activities we're moving forward with today have not led to significant transmission in other states. It's important to remember that today's order applies only to lower risk communities. Communities that have been designated as high risk or red in any of the three most recent weekly DPH reports are not permitted to move forward in the reopening process until the data indicates it is safe to do so. Please keep in mind that this list will be updated tomorrow on Wednesday when we update the COVID-19 map. Most businesses have been open for a few months now and the data makes clear that people have been acting responsibly in most circumstances. Today's order addresses indoor performance venues and indoor recreational facilities like laser tag. It does not address large venues like stadiums and arenas. This order goes into effect about a week from now on Monday, October 5th. 